Hello YouTube, today I've got my Microsoft Sidewinder mouse. This is just an unboxing of the mouse. There is this case. There are the weights and the spinny thing, or whatever you want to call it. <coughs> Sorry for the low tone. Time to unbox it. There it is, the mouse itself, weight, spindle, lead. This is quite exciting for me. First ever gaming mouse. That's just the outer shell, so nothing fancy, nothing special. Just lift up. Right. Oh. Let's bring you down. Right. So. See how to get these weights out. Take. None of you comment on asking who's P, because that just annoys me. So, there it is, the weights. Uh, as you can see, not too much, 10 grams. Uh, three, ten, three 10 grams and a 5 gram. And then, what we want to do is. This is like the case for it to go on top. Uh. See, Microsoft. And then just, yeah, there you go. It's a box, it's a case. Now, the mouse itself. I'll sit the mouse there. It's more plastic. It's from the Americans, so you can't blame them. Let me just put the mouse aside for a minute. I'll explain the weights and everything quickly. Okay, so we have here, uh, I'm getting instruction manual. Uh, yeah, just a quick start guide. Uh, this is another manual. And uh, thing. probably won't need a driver disc because sometimes and, and uh, let's just check if there is a driver's disc. Uh, oh, on a minute. Yeah, not in there. Yeah. Hmm. Fair enough. I need it. No okay. get. Right. The weights. The idea of the weight is to vary the weight of the actual mouse itself so you get kind of like a fine tuning uh, 
I don't know if there's actually anything underneath this, but I don't think so. These are like little spindle thingies, like separate little kind of panels. All sorts. It's nicely packed and everything. I mean, it's got a nice rubber feel to it. It's not too heavy, it's not too light. Perfect. Now for the mouse itself. USB 2.0, obviously. Very nice, comfortable mouse. Very comfortable. It may look uncomfortable, but to be honest, it is very comfortable. 2000 DPI, not like a Razer's uh, Mamba, which is 5600 DPI. Uh, no left and right click here, just a. Now, probably what I'm going to do is for. I play Frontline's Fuel of War a lot, it'll be reload, reload, and uh, that's change rifle, and I'll be reload and uh, something else. And yeah, this is, these are your DPI setups here. And normal connection. This is the mouse it will be replacing. It's from uh, a company my dad works well, works in partnership for at this Copco. It's quite a nice mouse. Optical. All sorts like that. It's got a little poop, but like a little aqua. It's got a little spanner in there and a little section of water floats in and all sorts. Nice and cool. The whole thing lights up red. And uh, well, I really can't wait to get this to try. These are the feet, by the way. So you change your feet for different styles. And I don't know what that does anyway. I don't actually know what that bit there that pushes in. Uh, probably something that goes on inside. Um, there it is, to be honest, the Microsoft Sidewinder. Now, the reason why I chose this is because it's actually, if I use my left hand, it's actually really comfortable with your left. It's even more comfortable for your left hand. Hold on. It's comfortable for both. So if you're lefty, you can get this mouse. This mouse is great for left-handers and right-handers. 